hello viewers welcome to my channel light tech solution today i will discuss on how to publish an uh, asp page asp website in uh, when or in a network environment that is lan so the i will uh, the, i will show you this uh, in practical with uh, three parts that is requirement uh, number one number two IIS configure number three uh, ASP package so uh, number one number one I will show the uh, I will show the ASP part with uh, the requirements is to uh, I go to the actual project uh, I have this uh, web page and I will enter this page password and login page will go to the second page so suppose these two page uh, is our is my website and I want to publish in LAN that is I will access through LAN or when it will publish in IIS it will be accessible from any PC of your LAN so let us see how to do this here uh, this is my project website one I want to uh, first step is uh, to uh, compilation file option of web.config should be false that is compilation debug is false uh, next save it then th second thing is to uh, right click on this project and uh, go to publish and uh, in this option there are uh, project location so I will rename this project file folder as suppose a website or a new file can be placed here in my e drive uh, suppose it is website 1 ok so this is website 1 and these two options should be checked. Allow this pre-compile set to be updatable. You will fix timing and single page assemblies. Okay. It will start at the debugging and publishing. That this message will be published succeeded. And uh, up till this uh, the succeed the, uh, the course of this uh, Visual Studio debugging is complete and the folder is published uh, in my e drive itself so now i will open my uh, ios manager from control panel and uh, see the uh, site options and at the at this uh, site uh, in the ios environment so to do this I have already uh, said that uh, there will be LAN connectivity uh, in my requirements that is IIS required the, the requirement portion is here the IIS 7 required and uh, .NET framework 4.0 and advanced version is required and uh, LAN IP should be given as uh, uh, suppose I have placed here this uh, 192.168.11 then default get, get ratio should be also of same range if there is no router if there is a router there should be one router IP there so it is now ok DNS is the uh, same as on the server ok so no problem now it is uh, being replaced uh, here so I will 
go to the AS and uh, add this publish site to this I have already uh, one page here so I will stop this web one uh, yes I should uh, stop this web one page and uh, add my new page suppose web two so I add uh, sorry uh, I will add this at my site in the default website to a virtual directory so the process is this right click on the default website and uh, give the site name web to suppose and the virtual directory itself uh, the physical part is where I have already created published folder is here e drive so this is website 2 so I select this this is website uh, sorry website to one this is website one okay so I check it as test yes pass through authentication okay so my virtual directory is created here website 2 the so the next step will be uh, here suppose uh, I want to uh, add, uh, right click on this virtual directory and uh, convert to uh, application this is steps follows to convert uh, this as an application so click on here the site name is suppose this web to ok click on ok and uh, now on this uh, virtual folder the the default documents check uh, for default documents <coughs> and uh, check whether the page is here or not uh, i have a page which is default.aspx so i should uh, add this page here this is uh, the, that is default dot aspx So this page is uh, browsable and I can remove this now. So next step is to convert uh, and, and that is already converted. So next is uh, option is uh, to uh, go to uh, application pool and identity. So application pool is here. So I will click on this application pool of uh, my uh, application pool is uh, for web one uh, i think i web two i have web two so i go to application pool and uh, uh, this is uh, i can uh, i can run it on default uh, one all are here all person 4.0 and uh, only one is uh, off oh, this is top so i i should not configure it because uh, my default app, app, uh, application pool is here and web, web, uh, web pool is here and both the uh, configuration is uh, correct as of .NET version 4.0 and the local system is allowed so it is uh, doing for my this uh, web page 2 so now I will check it for I will check it for uh, manage and browse and if it is browsed well there is uh, the publication is okay now now I have checked uh, for uh, web page 2 which is recently added uh, by me so I will uh, click on browse if it is working it is yes it is all working now so the web 2 page will be accessible from any computer now because it is uh, the page is responsive now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 the password and login is yes second page is here so it is doing now so this is the method of uh, adding a website to your IIS environment to call it from a local uh, local uh, IIS
yes uh, environment and local network so now I will uh, access it uh, from uh, with the help of IP address so please see here uh, now I will uh, place it uh, from uh, with the help of IP address this is 192 160 one, my IP address is here so any of your client PC or uh, in a PA network PC in a network so you should have uh, placed the IP of my uh, computer that is the serve computer where I is placed uh, where the website is configured and the uh, site name is placed here as well too which is published uh, with the name of this web uh, page too so press enter the page will appear yes the page is appear because of the publishing the page is able to access from in the network so I think it is understand by you so please uh, do once uh, and uh, uh, if it is uh, uh, in success so it is of it can be shared to anybody uh, with uh, a practical in LAN so thank you for viewing uh, this video and uh, if it is liked by you please uh, subscribe to my Sunlight Exhibition thank you